Omar Sachedina has been named chief news anchor and senior editor of CTV National News, Canada's most watched nightly newscast. Earlier today, CTV announced the departure of Lisa Laflamme. Sachedina, currently national affairs correspondent for CTV News, is an award-winning veteran journalist with more than 15 years of experience covering many of the world's most significant breaking news stories on the ground, including the ongoing war in Ukraine, the 75th D-Day anniversary in Normandy, France, as well as natural disasters in Haiti and Indonesia. He's also traveled with the Prime Minister to cover international summits during his tenure in CTV's Parliamentary Bureau and has reported from the federal election campaign trail for several elections, interviewing federal party leaders. Sachedina begins his role Monday, September 5th, and Omar Sachedina joins me now. Good to see you, Omar. Angie, great to see you as well. Talk to me about what you're hoping for this new role. Well, I think certainly first and foremost, we have to keep our, our audience at the forefront of all of this. We have to, um, you know, recognize that we need to continue building that trust and earning the trust of the audience each and every day. That is so important now more than ever. I think, look, you know, you, you talk about issues such as the economy, inflation is soaring. You talk about issues such as health. There are huge, long wait times at hospitals. And also, also climate. We have all seen shifts happening all across our country and around the world. People want to make sure that we are on top of that, that we're able to provide context, objectivity, fairness, and we want to do it with integrity. And, and I also want to make sure that, you know, we're in a position to be able to, as we have been doing, reflect the stories, the faces, and, and the voices of the people in this country. I'm not just talking racially, I'm also talking geographically. And I think one of the things that we do so well is to connect people from coast to coast to coast. When you're watching our show, when you're watching CTV National News, there is um, a, a unity that the viewer is able to find, whether he or she lives in Victoria or lives in, in Newfoundland or lives somewhere in the Arctic. So that's certainly something that, uh, you know, I would love to continue. And I have to say, look, this is such an honor and a blessing and a privilege to be able to take on this new role and to follow in the footsteps of, of exceptional journalists such as Lisa Laflamme, who has been a friend and a mentor, and also Lloyd Robertson. For, for decades, this, this newscast has been the number one go-to newscast for Canadians. And so uh, I want to be able to make sure that is sustained. And we have such an exceptional, Angie, as you know, team. Uh, you know, it, this is not just about me. Uh, this, is, this is about this whole team. And they are tireless, they're dedicated, and I know they are absolutely committed to making sure we continue the great work that we've been doing. Indeed, and I think you've kind of answered my second question with all of that in terms of what you're most excited about, which, I mean, there's so much there. But talk to us, tell Canadians about some of the stories that you've covered so far in your career that really stayed with you. I think, you know, one of the, the stories most recently has been the, the ongoing war in Ukraine. And, and you know, one of the one of the images that is etched in my mind, and people ask me what, what stuck out in my mind uh, from those three um, tours that I did there or three times that I spent covering there. Uh, and the line that I still remember is this line going across the border. We had landed in, in Poland and we were driving across the border into Ukraine. And Angie, there were thousands of people trying to cross over into Poland. They were going in this direction. We were going the opposite direction, mostly women, because the men, of course, had to stay behind and fight. They were with their babies, with their children. The children were pushing their siblings, in some cases, in strollers. And, you know, for me, that moment connected to me especially because 50 years ago, actually, uh, this year, my parents were, were expelled from Uganda and made Canada their home. And so, you know, I, I could only imagine in that moment what they must have been going through, having seen these children and these people trying to flee their own country. Uh, and so, you know, it, that really, for me, put into context what the struggle must have been. You know, these people left everything they had, and, and the Ukrainians were leaving everything they had, and, and these families were literally split apart. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that will be etched into my mind. Uh, of course, it's, it's a story that, you know, we are on top of, we need to stay on top of. Um, certainly a lot of people have, have been hurting, entire families, as I mentioned, have been split up. And um, so, you know, the, these stories really 
affect people, and we have to make sure that you know Canadians are are aware of that. And Canadians have been so generous in in welcoming uh, Ukrainians and also making sure they're giving to Ukrainians as well. So that that has been the story most re recently that has stuck to me. Indeed. So what is your message then to the lawyer, loyal viewers of Canada's most watched national newscast, Omar? I think my message is that, you know, we will continue doing what we have been doing, and that is uh, earning the trust of uh, Canadians for the past several decades. We will do it with objectivity. We will do it with context. We will do it with integrity. We will do it with fairness. We will continue making sure that we are including the, the voices that make up this country. And we will also make sure that, you know, we are br bringing this information across a variety of, of platforms. People are consuming, as we know, news in different ways. And it's up to us to be at the forefront of this as well. Always good to speak with you. Thanks so much for this, Omar. Thank you, my friend.